Hello everyone, welcome here again. We human beings like talking too much. Sometimes we continue talking even though we are sleeping, right? So talking is very important in our life, in our daily life. Without speaking, we cannot live as human beings because we are social beings. So today, I would like to tell you a story about the importance of talking gently. There was a little calf and while he was still very young, his owner donated him to a Brahmin. And the Brahmin treated the little calf as his own son. He gave it nice food and nice place. And a few years later, the little calf grew into a bull. Um, he was incredibly strong. So he thought to himself, this Brahmi is very kind to me and he takes care of me very well and he is like a father to me. And now I am fully grown up into a bull, very powerful. There is no one as strong as like me in this district. So I must use my power and ability to repay the Brahmi, my father, for the cost of raising me. So one day the bull said to the Brahmi, Father, go out and find some rich merchant and challenge him to bet 100,000 coin that your bull can pull 100 loaded cars. So the Brahmi trusted his bull, he went out and uh, he found a very rich merchant and uh, he said to the merchant Sir, I would like to challenge you to bet 100,000 kwan I have a bull very strong so I would like to bet you if my bull can pull 100 loaded cars you will have to give me 100,000 kwan but if my bull could not couldn't pull 100 loaded cars and will give you 100,000 kwan. So what do you say? The Brahmi asked the Mochan. And the Mochan thought, I had never seen any powerful animal strong enough to pull 100 loaded cars. So the Mochan accepted the challenge quickly. So when the day, uh, when the day came for the challenging, many people come for watching. And the Brahmi loaded 100 cars with sand and stone and after that the brahmi yoked the bull his bull um, when it is ready the brahmi in front of everybody said very loudly to the bull you stupid and nasty bull now pull these loaded cars and the bull hearing the word nasty and stupid from his father his master the bull was not happy about that, so the bull didn't try to pull the loaded cars. The bull just stand there without pulling. Because of that, the Brahmi lost 100 on some coin. And the Brahmi went back home in disappointment. The Brahmi couldn't eat, couldn't sleep, very suffering. So the bull, seeing the suffering of the Brahmi, the bull asked the Brahmi, Father, why are you so sad? Then the Brahmi answered, My son, I have just lost 100,000 kwan. How can I be happy? Then the book continued asking, Father, on the challenging day, why did you call me stupid and nasty? Um, during the entire time I have lived with you, have I ever done anything wrong? I uh, haven't ever broken anything in your house. 
the bull out the Brahmin. Then the Brahmin said, No, 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 my son, never. You have never done anything wrong. The Brahmin said. Then the book the bulls continue. Father, on the challenging day, when I hear you call me stupid and nasty, I became very sad. So I didn't try to pull the loading cars. Because of that, you lost your money. So Father, go to the mountain for the second time. And this time, challenge him to bet 200,000 coins. And remember this time, don't call me stupid and nasty. Don't use bad words to me. Then the Brahmi happily got out and went to the mountain again. And uh, he discussed with the merchant this time to challenge for 200,000 coin. Of course, the merchant happily accepted the challenge. Um, when the day comes for the challenge, for the second time challenging, more people come to watch. And just like the first time, the Brahmin loaded 100 cars with sand and stone. After that, he yelled the bull. And this time, the Brahmin said gently in front of everybody, he said to the bull, My son, you are beautiful and clever. You are intelligent. You are strong and powerful. Now please pull these loaded cars for me. And the bull, after hearing the gentle words from his father, the Brahmi, to everybody's surprise, the bull can pull all 100 loaded cars easily. So the Brahmi won. The merchant had to give him 200,000 kwan. And the audience who came for watching also gave him a lot of money. Because of that, the Brahmin became very rich and very happy. This is the end of the story. You see, the harsh words even animals don't like. So as human beings, of course we cannot live without communicating with each other. So when we communicate, it is very important to communicate with each other gently. If we speak gently, even our enemy can become our friends. On the contrary, if we speak harshly, even our friends can become our enemy. That's why, as a human being, social being, we cannot live without communicating, without talking with one another. But the most important thing is, whenever we say, whenever we talk with our friends, we must use gentle words. It's very important to live peacefully in the society, happily with our friends and family. So it is very important to use the word gently. Thank you so much everyone for watching. May the triple gene bless you.